This post is for Wednesday, November 24th. The title for today's post is Thankful Hearts. Well, this week, most people in this country are celebrating Thanksgiving Day, a day on which we're reminded and encouraged to be thankful for the good things and the good people we have in our lives. And that's a great thing to do. And I'm glad that we have this day um, to remember to do that, to be thankful. But I would suggest for those of us who are Christians, every day should be a Thanksgiving day. That is, every day we should be thanking God for the blessings that he has freely given to us, for the, the wonderful things that he has done in each of our lives, for the people that he has brought into our lives who have loved us and encouraged us, strengthened us, supported us in so many different ways. But above all of that, we should be thankful for God himself and that he has revealed himself to people um, and that he's made it possible to know him and to experience him and to come into relationship with him through his son and by his Holy Spirit. Uh, just, just thankful for God himself and that, that he seeks out people because he loves, he loves every one of us and he wants everyone to know and love him and to be in relationship with him. And so, as we read in the first two verses of Psalm 105, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his name. Tell the peoples what things he has done. Well, let your songs be of him and praise him, and let your speech be of all his wondrous works. Now, when we take time to, to think about these things, we really have so much to be thankful for, you know, to, to be thankful that we can experience the presence of God, that we can experience his love and know his forgiveness and to be rescued from the snares of sin and an eternal separation from him. Uh, there's just so much to be thankful for and for all the things that he has given to us, the opportunities he has given to each of us, people he's brought into our lives. Um, and so I would suggest that offering prayers of, of praise and thanksgiving should be a part of our daily lives. And that we should take the time to think about the specifics of what God has done in our lives, the specifics of what God has given to each of us, the specific opportunities he's offered to each of us. Um, more than just thanking him in general, but really taking the time to think about what God has done and offered and given to each one of us in our lives. And so we're not only tell the peoples, of the wondrous works that he has done, but we remind ourselves of the wondrous works that he has done in each of our lives, the great things that he has given to each of us and people that he's brought into our lives who have helped us, who have loved us and so forth. Uh, like I said, there's so much that we each have to be thankful for and it should be a part of our daily prayer discipline to take time to, to say thanks to God and to tell him some of the things that come to our minds that we are thankful for. And again, above all, we're thankful for him, for his son, for his Holy Spirit, uh, that he didn't abandon people, but he made it possible through his son that all should know him, that all should have eternal life who believe in Jesus, that none should perish. And he's made that possible. So let us have thankful hearts. And I thank you for listening and may God bless you.